What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bring you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Series 12 in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an amazing off-meta team that features Kai Ogre, Power Herb Lunala, and Life Orb Nihilego. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Do I have to yell at you guys to subscribe to the channel? Only take a second of your guys' time. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. It really does go a long way. So shout out to everybody who's a subscriber to the channel. But this team right here, like I said, it's definitely off meta. It has a lot of off meta Pokemon for Series 12, like Lunala, probably one of the most underused restricted mons in this game. We also have Coco and Tapu Lele, who really fell off as the restricted mons started to come into play. And last but not least, Nihilego, another one of those Pokemon that really fell off ever since restricted mons started to come into play. But we also have Kyogre and Myshaw, who I think are more on the meta side. Definitely Kyogre is more meta, but my shell is more on the meta side than off meta, so I would not consider that Pokemon off meta. But let's get started here. Let's try to get some wins with this team. Starting off in that top left corner for the team preview, we got the one and only my shell. My shell, really, really good. I think it works well in up against most teams. It has the inner focus, which is a great ability in this meta, so it can't be flinched, cannot be intimidated. Also has that focus ash as its item, so it can't be one tap. Legit, a perfect item for me. Cannot go wrong with the focus ash. We got Close Combat for Stab, Rock Team for Speed Control and Coverage. Then we got Wide Guard Protector Team for Double Hitting Moves. And last but not least, we're rocking out with Fake Out for Flinches in the first turn. Gotta love it. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon, like I said. Right next to him is going to be our first Restricted Mon, and that is going to be Lunala. And Lunala is really, really good in most situations. I just feel like other Restricted Mons, such as like Kyogre, Zassian, and all that good stuff, really overshadow this Pokemon. But now that you can use two, we're going to be seeing a lot more Lunala, in my opinion. This thing has the Shadow Shield as its ability, Power Herb as its item, so we can use Meteor Beam in one shot. Then we're rocking with Moon Geist Beam for Stab, Air Slash for Coverage, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be Kyogre. This Pokemon is phenomenal. Yet again in the series, just too, too good not to be used on a team. We got Drizzle to get Weather Control and to set the rain, Mystic Water to boost our water damage, and we got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect, which is a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Middle right is going to be Tapu Koko, and Tapu Koko I absolutely love. I wish this one was rocking a uh, fairy move, but it is what it is. We got the Electric Surge as its ability, alongside with that Shuka Berry, so we can eat up a ground hitting move. Then we got Wild Charge, Brave Bird for coverage, E Web for speed control, and Rain Dance to set up weather and play well with our Kai Ogre. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Choice Scarf Tapu Lele with the Psychic Surge ability. It's got Psychic, it's got Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Dazzle Gleam. I did use a similar Tapu Lele in uh, previous videos, and I really do like it. I just think it hits hard, I think it does some work, and it can soak up shots when it needs to be. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Life Orb Nihilego, and I cannot wait to use this guy. I always love Nihilego. Usually I rock him with the Power Herb, but this time I'm rocking him with the Life Orb, and I think he's going to be a great Pokemon to Dynamax and just steamroll the battles with. It's got Beast Boost ability, and it's rocking out with an amazing moveset of Power Gem, Acid Spray both for Stab, and then we got Thunder Wave for Speed Control and Paralyzes, and last but not least, we're rolling out with Protect. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? You guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Series 12 ladder. Look to get some wins with this Kyogre Lunala off meta team. What an awesome team to go up against in battle number one. We're going up against a Ho-Oh and the Alga team with Regid Lecky, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, and Storm Drain Gastron. So cannot wait to hop into this battle and get after it this way. I definitely have to watch out for Storm Drain Gastron, considering I'm rocking out with Kyogre, and that could definitely be a no-no. So gotta watch out for that. Got to watch out for that. But I'm definitely going to lead this My Shao. Get Fake Out Control. Kind of roll out from there. And then next Pokemon I really want to lead is... I'm leaning towards Lunala here. I feel like Lunala could be good. Or Nihilego could be solid as well. But another problem is I got to watch out for that Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide could definitely do me dirty. So you know what? I'm just going to go straight into Lunala here. I'm going to bring Kyogre in the back end. And then last but not least, Nihilego, right? I'm liking Nihilego here. I really do. Or I can go Twist Craft Tapu Lele. Twist Craft Tapu Lele is looking solid here as well. We scarf top of Lele is looking real fine, real fine. But you know what? Nihilego's got that life orb. I want him on the squad. Let's roll out. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know down in the comment section down below. For question of the day, if you guys could mix two generations of Pokemon, what two would they be? I feel like this is such a good question. Get some awesome answers in the comment section down below. But for me personally, I would like to mix Gen 3 and I think Gen 1. I think mixing them could create an absolute bang. I can, like, dude, I'm just seeing it now. Just those Pokemon in those towns, just the gyms. I love both those generations a lot, so. I think mixing those two could be really, really cool. But he's gonna end up leading Regilecki alongside with the Alga. And I think going into maybe just a uh, a fake out here onto the Regilecki and maybe just going for a Meteor Beam. And setting up here. What do we fake out the Dialga? Do, do we think Dialga? There's no way Dialga Dynamax, right? I think we just doubled. Uh, Regilecki might protect. 
I don't want to double down and just have him protect, right? I mean, I think Vagilaki might actually protect him. So you know what? I'm just going to go into the fake out here. And I'm going to just trigger this Meteor Beam. I'm just going to trigger this Meteor Beam just for a special attack boost. And I just think Vagilaki protects you, right? He's going to withdraw the other. Okay, who's going to go into it? We're Meteor Beaming in the slot. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Protect Vagilaki. Protect Reggie. Protect Reggie. Love it. Love it. Love it. Jeans with the hard reads right off the rip. Love it. Mwah. 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 Did not read the ho-oh coming here, but we read the Regilecki popping off. That's great. That is a great turn one. Lovely turn one. I can go into uh, Y guard now. He wants to E-Web and try to get speed control. Get it all day. Jeans with it all day. And this should be four times super effective, right? Fire and flying? I know it's not stab, but that's plus one. Get him out of my game, dude. Get him out of here. One restricted mind in the dumpsters. Gone. Get him gone. Get him gone. So withdraws the Alga. Okay, thinking I might just drop a close combat. So I got to keep that in my mind. My shot really doesn't work up against that. And who's going to bring in here? He's going to bring back out the Alga. And from here, I think I just I guard and move guys speed. I think that's my play all day. I think he's going to Dynamax the Alga. I just think we go for the wide guard. Let him take a shot onto me. I have my focus ash. We're kind of all from there. And then we just moon guys beam right onto this Regilecki slot. And get some big damage. Because we're plus one on special attack. We're plus one. Like I said, Dynamax and Dialga. I saw that coming from a mile away. Right? This has got to be Dialga. And then he has to be going for E-Web control all day. So if we could just wide guard this turn, it would be lovely. Yep, there's Dialga. He's just looking good. He's just looking good on the reach for battle number one, yo. Yo, I'm telling you, if he goes for an E-Web, you guys better link up this video for me. If we read the E-Web, get the block, and we just dump on this Reggie Lucky, we're the best. Wide guard popping out here. Let's see what this guy is poking with. Let's see what this dude's poking with. Oh my god, yo, like the video! Like the video right now! Beautiful wide guard from us. We were just making some hard reads today. Back to back hard reads, just totally outplaying our opponent. Moon Guy Scream's gonna come in here, and this should take him out as long as he's not focused. As long as this Pokemon is not focus sashed. Let's see, I'm gonna mount my face. He's focus sashed. This thing is sashed up. Okay, so we're still sashed up with the My Shao. And from here, he's gonna go for a Max Quake into my, uh. What's he going into? My My Shao, okay. So my shout is going to be able to soak that up. He is Focus Ash as well. And I could just go straight for an E-Web here. Or not an E-Web. I could straight uh, go for like a close combat. But I don't know what my play should be. What shall my play be? The special defense boost is kind of scaring me. This thing shows its orb. Um, I mean, I might as well go for a close combat. Maybe he thinks we're wide guarding again. Maybe he thinks we're wide guarding again. But from in this instance, I think we just could protect. Could protect and I don't know what I want to do here. I think I had to post this threat on him, right? Yeah, I still have my Dynamax, so looking this and he goes straight for Thunderbolt. So, wide guard obviously wasn't play, we did not do it anyway. And he takes out my shell, so he's gonna take out my shell. He's gonna go into my uh, my Lunala, but Lunala's gonna outspeed and we're gonna be able to take out Regilaki, no problem. So, keep that speed control off the board. I love it all day, I love it all day. So, now the real call is do we bring in our Nihilego or do we bring in our Kyogre? Just both kind of scary. Hopefully he's not going for another quake. Yes, dude. He's just boosting special defense. He realized that our team is full on special attackers. And that thing could be a pain to take out. So I think we might have to wait for that thing to come into the end. But that's going to be tough. That's just going to be an absolute pain to take out. A plus two, maybe three special defense Dialga. Could definitely be scary. And yeah, our play got to be Kai over here. We got to go in the Kai over here and just roll off from here. I think we just got to keep doubling down into this slot. And of course he's going to bring out you. And I might have to protect him. I might have to protect Kai over here. Dude, because this real boom could do me dirty. We made two great reads right off the rip. Do I Dynamax Kyogre? Maybe just drop a Hailstorm? What's my play, dude? What is my play? This is tough. I think we have to protect him and just go straight into that. Straight into that real boom. Real boom is just such a huge problem. Such a huge problem. So I'm gonna I'm gonna protect him. I might Dynamax him next turn. I know I don't really know what I should do. I'm just gonna go straight for an air slash here. Because if we can land this air slash, it could be a beautiful turn. It could be a beautiful turn. So we're going to protect. Hopefully, this roll boom does not go for a fake out. Well, actually, he can't fake out my uh, Lunala. But hopefully, he doesn't double down on Lunala and KO. Him. But it's good that Lunala outspeed. So Lunala should be fine. Should be able to get off Air Slash all day. It's a great turn for us. It's a great turn for us. Because if I can finish off this roll boom, we could be sitting in such a good spot. Because Air Slash has a high chance of finishing this thing off. I get it's not sad, but it is plus one. It is plus one. So Kyrie gets to protect here. We roll one out here. We cannot deal with this, this roll boom. Robum's gonna be doing, doing me dirty. He's gonna protect Robum. That's such a smart play. Such a smart play. 
Air Slash can come out here and that gets blocked. And please go after Kyogre? Who are you going after? Seal Spike. So he's going to get the Fence Boost. I like that a lot better. And he's going to do some damage on Lunala and take him out. Wow. He takes him out. Okay, so I can Dynamax here. And I think Dynamax in the hill leg is probably going to be apply, right? Dude, Grassy Guy is scary. Grassy Guy is so scary. This one's going to come down to the wire. Do I double protect with Kyogre? Do I double protect with Kyogre? I cannot change up terrain. That's what kind of stinks, dude. We probably should have brought in somebody who could change up terrain. We have two Pokemon that could have done it. Maybe we should have brought in somebody who could do that. So Nihilago is going to come out here, and I have to make the choice of who to Dynamax here. And I think Dynamax and Nihilago might be a player here. It's so tough. It is so tough, but we have to double down into you. And I'm just going to Dynamax, and I think Ooze is going to be a player, right? Gotta get that special attack boost. Gotta be a play. It's gotta be a play because we lose this one, right? We lose this one if we lose Kyogre. Or Nihilego. I'm kind of hoping he comes into Nihilego. This is such a tough call. He's gotta go in the Kyogre. Maybe we should try to double protect. Game's gonna be ridiculously close. Ridiculously close. Nihilego gets the Dynamax. Best part about this poison move is it is stab. He's gonna go for a grass guide into Kyogre, right? I go soak, soak it, soak it. I love you, dude. No shot, dude. No shot, dude. This just rips into, dude. Rillaboom is so strong for no reason. So strong for no reason. We're going to ooze up here. We need KO here. We need a big time KO. Big time KO. Okay. Okay. Now we have a game. I get that my moves are not very effective and he's plus two on special defense, but we still have a nice shot. This is going to be so close. This is going to be so close. Let's see what he's rocking with. Beast boost coming in here. Dude, we're getting our boost going through the roof. We're going to show Life Orb. What's he rolling out here with? Earth Power. This thing's ripping with Earth Power. No way. This thing's ripping with... Okay, now it's over. I was not expecting that thing to have Earth Power. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So we have one turn here. Obviously, we have to go into our uh, Rock Ball. But, dude, how do we lose this match? I feel like we had nothing to just counter this Dialga. Besides our... What's it called? Besides our... Uh, Guys are my shout, but at that point he was dead and kind of just this deal kind of just took control. Earth power comes in crazy, four times super effective. And if he didn't have earth power, we were doing some big old damage. Maybe he'll miss this one. Maybe he'll miss this earth power. And we get a we get a nice lovely shot here. See last one plays, miss it somehow. No nope. earth power comes in here. That's GG's, and we ended up losing a very very good first battle. We played so good, we made some great hard reads in there. I just feel like that Robin really countered us up, and we should have brought in something to kind of just like you know flip the terrains and switch it out. God dang Rillaboom. God dang Rillaboom, ladies and gentlemen. That was nutty. I can't believe we lost that battle after making two amazing reads, but I feel, I feel like we just let Dialga go under the radar, and he kind of just set up, boosted up, and then we got into a position where none of my Pokemon could do anything to it and ended up losing that battle. But hey, we're up into that second battle, and I'm guaranteeing you guys a victory here. We're going up against an actually very strong team. Ice Rider, Calyrex, Groudon, Incineroar, Venusaur, Mimikyu, and then last but not least, he's rocking out with Regilecki. I think my shout is a definite lead here. We can fake out. We can kind of roll out from there. Um, who else should I lead? I might lead Lunala here. Lunala could be solid. I do really like Lunala, but um, we definitely got to bring Kyogre for the Weather War. Probably not lead it. Probably bring Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko would be good. At the same time, it's like, eh. I just want to bring in Tapu Koko because he does have Rain Dance, but I think we're going to lead Lunala. Hi, Ogre, and then we go Nihilego. Is this the same squad we brought last time? I think it is. I am digging it, though. I am really, really liking it. So I want Coco, but at the same time, it just looks like Coco gets dumped on by a lot of these Pokemon. So it's just like, eh. Do I really want Coco? It's either Lele or Nihilego. Bum, 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 bum. What do I want to do? Do, 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 do. Lele ain't too shabby. With that Chewy Scarf, I kind of dig it. But I'm going to roll in here with Nihilego. We're going to lock it down. We're going to lock it in. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two for you guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But, yo, this guy's team is so scary. It is so scary. I really wish we won that first battle. That first battle, we rolled out strong. We did roll out strong. We made some great plays. But, again, like I said, Diago just went flying under the radar. And we couldn't do anything about it. We couldn't do anything about it. After my Mashal dropped out, that I was a fool. It's a tough one. This is a tough one. But let's see who he leads. He's going to end up going into Mimikyu and Venusaur, which I'm with all day. I can fake out the Venusaur easily. He might end up Dynamaxing, so what do I do here? Because a Moon Guy's Beam could easily go through that Mimikyu and maybe take him out. So I could actually slow him down here. I could just go straight into a fake out. But again, we might see a hard swap come in here. And I kind of just want to go into a Moon Guy's Beam because this goes through abilities, right? Move can be used on the target regardless of the abilities. So I'm with it all day. 
There's no way a Mimikyu's rocking a food. <laughs> so we'll see how this one plays out. But he might swap it. Which which is why I was thinking of going into a Rock Tomb just into that uh, Venusaur just to lower its speed. But we'll see how this one plays. Just see how this one plays. It's crazy how Lunala uh, can't get, or can get hit by ground moves. Like, dude, he's legit off the ground. Big guy comes out here. Okay, it's a beautiful turn. He does not swap the Mimikyu. And does Lunala outspeed Mimikyu? He does. He does indeed. Moon Guy's beam popping out here. Should just be able to dump on this thing 100%. And we should be coming off with a strong, 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 strong turn. Look at that. Get him out my face. Get him out my face. Crit, we did not even need it. We did not even need the crit, but he's probably sitting there like, what? Mimikyu has the ability. Where's his disguise ability? But nah, son, yo. Moon Guy's beam goes right through it. It's a great first turn for us, yo. Our first turns have been on point. They have been on point. But he goes into Growlin here, and this is where we just hard swap my Shao, right? And he's going to Dynamax. Ooh. We have to change weather, 100%. We 100% have to change weather. We 1,000% have to change weather. But who do we take out? Who do I take out? I'm thinking of just taking out my Shao. Just have it in the back end for fake outs. So we can swap into you. Then I can just roll out into an Air Slash. For but he is going to Dynamax that. Uh, he is 1,000% going to Dynamax that. That Venusaur. I'm just going to go into a uh, Meteor Beam. I'm going to trigger my Power Herb. I'm going to get my plus one. I'm going to get my plus one. Right? He's got a Dynamax. Out. That Venusaur all day. We're going to change weather here. We're not allowing him to just sit sit in the, the drought with a with a Venusaur. Right? That's just You're just asking to lose at that point. And he does not Dynamax. He does not Dynamax. That is amazing. So we could have just went into an Air Slash. This turn works out perfectly. I really like this turn. He might go into like a Sleep Powder or something along those lines. But hopefully we can get off some big damage here. Trigger that power herb. We're plus one on special attack. And this guy, I'm, I'm, like, I keep thinking he's going to Dynamax. He hasn't, he hasn't made a move yet. We come in with a big Meteor Beam. And Air Slash probably could have taken that thing out. He goes for Sleep Powder. And that connects on him. Okay. I don't put this all day because Kyogre now outspeeds. Kyogre now outspeeds. What's he going to go into here? Blade's coming hot. And Lunala dodges this. Kyogre should be able to circle all day. I think Kyogre should be faster. Then, it, let me see Lunala's speed. Because Lunala went first. I think Kyogre might be faster than Lunala. Let's see now is sitting at once okay never mind it's not it's pretty close though so i think Kyogre should go second and an origin pulse can do a lot of things. i can go into origin pulse here and i guess we'll just roll into an air slash did we double down into you no 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 way we double down the ground on because if an origin pulse comes out here in this in this weather it's ggs it's ggs but i think this guy waited wasted or waited one turn too long to dynamax if he probably would have dynamax last turn he probably would have been sitting a little bit prettier in this battle but now that we got off that big damage on the venusaur he's at that point where he's just like dude i don't think i want to dynamax that so he might have to dynamax the crowd on and if he does we have origin pulse flying through for some big damage and we still have my shadow in the back for fake outs alongside with nihil lego and a dynamax of our own so i do like where we're sitting he's gonna withdraw you okay i'm with that all day and who's he gonna send out here this final mod's gonna be Alibi. so i think he's trying to pop off a trick room for the Mimikyu. Luckily, yo, Moon Guy's beam really fine through here. And we're gonna drop a nice lovely origin pulse here. You protect Groudon. I'm cool with that, yo. Get off some damage on this guy. Get off some damage on this guy and start wasting our turns for sleep. The origin pulse gonna fly here. Who's dodging it? Okay, no, he's protected. I was gonna say, who's dodging it? Cool. Origin pulse connects onto the Calyrex. Big old damage, right? How much damage are we chipping away? Some big old damage on him. So we half him down, which is just beautiful. And we're going to another origin pulse. And then from here, Moon Guy's Beam's gotta come in here, right? We gotta go after you. We gotta go after you. Because he might Dynamax this guy. There's still a, a high chance of him Dynamaxing his Calyrex. Because he is at half health. He is at half, half health. So we're gonna hope Lunala wakes up here and we're gonna throw Moon Guy's Beam in that slot as we are plus one. And that should take him out. No problem. No problem. No problem. Solid, solid turns for us right now. Solid, solid turns. Turn number one was huge. Dude. We're making some great reads today. We honestly are. Making some lovely little reads today. Going straight into Moon Guy's beams. Turn ones have been lovely. Reading protects. Reading uh double hitting moves like E webs. Just loving it. Just loving it. Origin pulls flies through here. I buy Groudon. And that might be a double kill, right? You did Dynamax. You I'm, I feel bad. I feel bad for this dude. Like I said, wasted his turns for Dynamax. And this is just an easy battle for us. We're just out here sweeping. We're gonna sweep. That's an easy sweep. My Kyogre, my Kyogre outspeeds his Venusaur. He's just going to quit the battle. Did we even get touched? Did we get touched? I don't think we got touched. I don't think we got touched. We did not get touched, right? Oh, no. Kyogre got touched. Dang it, dude. 
I was going for the most perfect battle ever. The most perfect battle ever. We're going to go into that. We're going to go into Air Slash. He's probably just going to run the battle. It's over with anyway. Like I said, I guaranteed you guys a victory, and we overachieved on this one. Let's try to grab ourselves a winning record in battle number three, going up against another Groudon team. And we just dominated that last guy. Like I said, I feel like he wasted like a few turns when he should have Dynamax and he didn't. That kind of put him in a tough situation and we kind of just ended up just going out from there. But we're heading into this third battle. Like I said, another Groudon team. But this time this guy's rocking with Regiram, Charizard, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, and then he's got the Venusaur and Groudon combo. Who are we going into? How should we play this one? I feel like we use this. Yeah, we use the same squad in the first two battles. So I kind of want to get in Tapu Koko or maybe Tapu Lele here in battle number three. So uh, my shell's obviously got to be lead. Just too, too good here. And I might want to lead Coco here for a lead. Do I go with Lele? Two card for Lele could be solid here. If he leads Grimmsnarl, could be nice. If he leads the, uh, what's it called as well, could be nice. Actually, we should go Coco. Let's go Coco here. I don't like Coco. I don't know why I like Coco, but I do like Coco. Actually, no, we're going Lele. Choice Scarf Lele coming in hot. Lunala Kyogre. Lock it down. Lock it in. Let's do it, right? Let's do it. Right? Hmm. Yeah, right. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. We brought Nihilego in both battles, and we only got to use him in the first one. The second battle, we didn't get to really show him off. But this thing's a he's an absolute beast. He's great in Dynamax form. Great without Dynamax. This rolls out strong. Really hits like a truck, too. Plus with that beast boost. Like if he had any other Pokemon besides Tiago, we had a plus two Nihilego in Dynamax form, ripping up some big damage with a stab move. And I'm talking, I'm talking about battle number one. We would just been rolling strong, but he ends up going into here. I really, really like. I really, really like. So a fake out can come into the what's it called slot here. We could just straight up gleam if we want. We have to pick a move that we're going to choose. We have to pick a move that we're choosing. And he might hard swap that uh that Regiram, right? He might hard swap that Regiram. Surge is out and about. Oh, that takes away my takes away my surge. Son of a biscuit. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game, but how should we play this one? Team can fly. I think I'm probably gonna roll out here into you. I could if I want to just go into a game. He might be our play. Oh wait, I thought he's dragon. He's dragon of fire, right? Dragon of fire. What's this typing? Dragon of fire, so it's not fully super effective. Okay. Uh I think I think Gleam's gonna be a beer player. Let's gleam up. Let's gleam up here. Let's don't withdraw the real boom. Okay, I'm cool with that. Who's gonna go into? Grimstar. Nah. Nah. We don't mind going after Grimstar with a fairy move. You do not mind it one bit. He's gonna oh he's gonna end up Dynamax and Reggie. So cool, cool, cool. We're going up against some cool opponents today. I do dig it. I do dig it. It's not just like heavy, heavy meta. Cool thing is he's bringing in Reggie Ram and he's gonna Dynamax it also. So I dig it all day. Maybe we'll Dynamax with an in this battle. We'll see. Just have some fun with it. Just to have some fun with it. But he's going to end up Dynamax and just love the little booger. And I wonder what he's going to go into. I do wonder. Fake out's going to poke out here. Just chip some damage onto you. I wish we went into a different move. And we'll see what this dude goes into. Big old damage onto the Grimmsnarl. We are choice, which is great. So we're going to be able to get off some big damage. Let's see he's just going to send a big old Quake for a special defense boost. Okay. Going into Lele. Lele should be able to soak. Lele soaks up all day. Wow. Okay. So Lele's going to get another turn here. We probably won't be able to take out Grimmsnarl here. That special defense boost is definitely doing us Definitely doing us dirty. Okay. So from here, he could fake me out. Could if, if Grimstrong is rolling out with me. But I'm hoping Gleam might be able to take it out. Gleam should be able to, right? Like I get he's plus one on special defense, but that's a big chunk. Uh, we're going to rock to him here. I'm going to hope he's not policy. And he might have been life form. We'll see how this one plays out here. He's still have a lovely focus action. He's just going to go straight into a Thunder Wave. You son of a biscuit. He thunder waves me. My shell gets thunder wave and hopefully he's just hopefully he can still attack. Please just attack. Gleam comes out here. Take out the Grimstar, please. Oh my god. Plus one doing us dirty. Plus one doing us so dirty. He rolls to another quake. Go into Lele, please. Cool. He goes in Lele and he takes out Lele. I'm with it. I'm cool with it. Uh, I'm definitely cool with it. Uh what's my player? Got a Dynamax and Nala. He has that roll boom in the back end. I can't. I can't bring out Kai over here because once that Grimstar goes down there, Rock Team drops. Not bad damage, but it is going to slow him down. It is going to slow him down. That's that's lovely. That slows him down. So uh, from here, we have to bring out Lunala. Oh, ooh, I got a big old plan. Lunala has Meteor Beam. Lunala does have Meteor Beam. Or I could protect and then. Oh, that might be a reply. Protect Lunala and then take out Grimstar because I do not want him going into a Thunder Wave off. Right? 
Right? 100% of play. Correct? I think it's correct. What's Rock Tomb's accuracy? 95. Did we just go into close combat? Uh, you know, we're dropping this Rock Tomb. We're going to take out Grimstarl here. And like I said, we have to protect you because I do not want to be paralyzed. I do not want him to paralyze my Lunala. He's already minus one, so we can outspeed him all day and kind of just roll from there. Just go into Meteor Beam. And plus, his Dynamax turns are over and so we'll protect this giant. I was going to say bird, but I don't even know what he is. Bat kind of thing. And he does roll out into the Thunder Wave there. So great read by us. We're going to roll into a Rock Tomb here. And we're going to take out you. Great turn for us. Lovely, lovely turn for us. So no Thunder Waves on us. Um, he could bring out the Real Boom, which could maybe do some work on us. He's just going to drop a Worm one, which we're protected. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. Whew. How should we play this next one? So Dynamax turns are over. We have our Meteor Beam, which I definitely want to rock into. Just take out the thing, no problem, right? But yeah, with Meteor Beam should 100% be able to dump on it. We do outspeed it. And I'm just curious who he brings out here. Or do I Dynamax? I just Dynamax him. Wait, the Robum scare me. The Robum is definitely scary. Let's see who he brings out. It's gotta be Robum, right? Round on comes out. So he takes weather. He does indeed take weather and Hmm. Do we slow him down or do we hard swap? Could definitely hard swap here. Or I could wide guard. Could wide guard. I'm thinking of wide guard here. Wait, blades have to pop. He has to pop blades. So going into here. Could definitely be our play. He has to go into blades. So if we can get off this wide guard, it could be beautiful. So we're going to wide guard now. We're going to say, hey, yo, you're going for precipitous blades here. Show it to me. Meteor Beam is going to fly first and we're going to be able to take this thing out. So that's a lovely turn. That's a lovely turn. So, Rest Ram drops out here. If this thing goes for a Blades, that is just such a big turn. And then I could Dynamax next turn. If that is how it's rolling, we are sitting in such a good spot. Then I could just Dynamax my Lunala, and we could thrive out from there. The only threat that we're going up against is going to be that uh, Real Boom. Meteor Beam comes out here, and we don't KO. Blades do come out here, though. Blades do come out here. We do double protect it. And, dude, we don't KO that. That really messes up a lot of my things that I'm going to do. And Blue Flash is going to fly. Go into my shout. My shout, please. Lunala. Ouch, dude. God dang it. This game. All right, Kyogre. Let's get it, dude. It's all you all day, baby. It's all you all day. We still have Focus Ash on my shell, but I have a weird feeling that the Thunder Wave is going to trigger. That did not take out the Reshiram. That's whack. He might hard swap the uh, the Groudon in this case. So in, in this case, I'm just going to go into this. I could go into here. Just in case he swaps into the real boom here, we get off a nice, lovely uh, hailstorm. So he does not swap. I'm, I'm with this all day. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Wow. That thing really ate up a meter. Bro, we were sitting in such a good spot if it didn't. Sitting in such a good spot because then I just straight up Dynamax my boy. There's no way he goes to a Blades again. I think he's just like thinking a lot. He's probably like, dude, there's. He's probably like, okay, he's going into wide guard. We switch it up. Hailstorm's gonna fly through. How much damage are we gonna do on this? I could just went into the geyser, but I was kind of predicting maybe the swap. But we tick off some damage there. Let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see tree. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He's gotta go. He's got to go. He's gotta go. And he goes to the fire punch. Cool. So great call for us. We're gonna go down to Sash. And we could wide guard next turn for really too. I wish we did a quick guard. Rock team's gonna fly through here, and we definitely should have just went into the uh, Kyogre slot with that, knowing that uh, we were going into the Hailstorm, and Buffets could have just taken it out. But I think we just didn't want that thing going and getting off a move. Buffets are gonna fly. We do have speed. We do have speed. And what's the play here? What is the play? Because Grassy God's definitely scary. How many turns left in Surge? Surge should be ending soon. It's been on since since the first thing. Oh, but he's gonna bring it back out. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna bring it back out. <laughs> he's gonna bring it back out. Um What's your player? Keep the hell on the field. Wow, we I think we lost this one. I think we lost this one unless Unless we take out Robin in one shot here. Unless we take out Robin in one shot here, because two Grass Guys might be able to do us dirty. So Grass Guy comes in here. 
And I'm thinking we sh maybe could be able to eat up a blade. But he's weakness policy proc. It's so tough. It's going to be so close. Kill this thing. So he's dead. Yo, all we need to do is eat. Or this thing to miss. For sub ice blades has a low accuracy too. Mess it up. Mess it up. Mess it up. Mm, eat it. Somebody eat it. Eat it. Ah. Hate this game. Hate this game, yo. Two battles that we lost. Inches. Legit inches, dude. And I swear, yo, if that Lunal took out that Ram, it would have been GG's from there. We would have won this battle. What a set of battles for today's video. Ended up grabbing a losing record and going one and two, but both the battles that we lost were this close. Super, super close and super good all around. We made some great plays today and ended up grabbing you guys at least one win in today's video. But this team right here, a lot of fun. Like I said, off meta, really tough to use up against some of these teams, but very, very fun and very, very good to use in certain different situations. When used right, you guys know what I'm saying? When used right, this team is actually really, really good. Like we got in some good chances with my shout, showcasing a bunch of good reads, showcasing a bunch of good plays with Nala as well. Kyra came in there. We got to actually Dynamax it, but you know, Robin was just not our friend today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.